Excellent. Hello everyone, uh, good morning, or whatever the case may be. It's morning here. Uh, welcome to this video. This is not a normal video because I'm vlogging and I'm outside. I'm kind of outside. I'm in my car. Uh, I'm going to be building a fence today and a gate. So if you're not into that, then maybe uh, come back at a later date when I'm doing my normal videos, which are mostly about computers and technology. Uh, this one, I'm just building a gate. I can't even really call this a garage work log because I'm not even going to be working in my garage. I'm on the side of my garage. Anyway, uh, I'm going to Home Depot right now. I need to pick up just a couple more things to finish this project, and then uh, I'll show you guys me building a gate. I hope it's fascinating. Um, anyway, I'm taking you along for the ride, though, whether you like it or not. Home Depot is a mysterious and magical place. Um, I'm in the tools aisle right now because I gotta get some tools. But I've already been distracted with buying other things, so uh, I got this stud sensor. I needed a better stud finder. Got some rope. I'm doing a, I have an idea for a pulley system for some of my lights in the garage, so I got a bunch of stuff for that stuff as well. But the part I'm actually here for is, wait, where'd it go? It's disappeared. Ah, it's over here. I need a hammer drill. I'm gonna get this one. I already researched it, it's 50 bucks. And it's right down here. Here it goes. Okay, I've returned home. I'm in my backyard, and um, here's here's what I got going on here. Right, so this is kind of the area behind my garage. Um, normally, like our trash cans are right here, and part of the reason I'm doing this project is so I can move the trash cans over to the side of the house. And then this area here, I want to use to like build stuff because I need to build some shelves and whatnot inside the garage. So anyway, here's uh, what I've got going on. This is my workbench made up of computer boxes. This is uh, some redwood that I uh, picked up. actually got that on Saturday and brought it over here. So what I just picked up that I needed was this uh, drill right here, which is a hammer drill. Um, ended up being used uh, accidentally. Found out as I was at the cash register and she was like, hey, this box looks like it's been open. So she opened it up and uh, she knocked 15 bucks off the price. So I was like, all right, that's cool, as long as it works. So I got it for 35 bucks instead of 50 bucks. Uh, I've got these lag bolts. These are 4-inch by half-inch uh, galvanized lag bolts with washers. So those are going to be used to hold uh, one of the posts to the, the side, the cinder block wall over there. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what else to tell you guys. This is all just stuff I had out yesterday that I was using. Because uh, I have, I was working on this yesterday, and today I'm hopefully going to finish. My Ryobi hammer drill here is going to be supplementing my existing drill, which is a Black & Decker, which I've been told is the raid max of... of of power tools, but this uh, one I've actually had for four or five years, and it does it's been doing a great job for me. Only just yesterday did I realize uh, using this in place of a hammer drill not very effective if you don't want to go into something like a cinder block wall. Um, other than that, I've got my my other power tools here: circular saw and my jigsaw, because I'll probably be needing those. Other hardware, other tools, safety glasses. Got to keep that ready. All right. So here's the side of the house, and here's what I did yesterday. So the existing fence, or the fence that's there is a temporary fence that's just kind of propped up and I've been meaning to replace that for quite some time, so finally getting around to it. Um, I have a 4x4, a redwood 4x4 right here, and this I set up yesterday. I uh, actually used some, dug a big old post hole a couple feet down, put some gravel down in the bottom. Um, by the way, if anyone's watching this trying to get advice on how to do this, uh, take anything I say with a massive grain of salt, I am by no means an expert at any of this stuff here. I'm just kind of going with some of the stuff I already know and some stuff that I've looked up online. But anyway, I uh, put gravel at the base of this one. Uh, there's going to be another 4x4 against the wall here, and that's what I started drilling holes for yesterday. And then my batteries ran out on my Black & Decker drill. Um, down here I got some gravel. should put gravel, gravel at the base of the post, that way you get some drainage there so you don't get uh, like rot or mildew. And then down in there is the post hole that I dug yesterday, filled up with some quick crete. Just poured some water in there, and that has set up, and this this thing's pretty rock solid now, very sturdy. So what I'm going to do next, and I'm probably not going to do much narration, I'm just going to kind of point the camera at what I'm doing and, and do it, uh, is I need to m mount this other 4x4 to the wall right here. I need to drill uh, like one and a half more holes for that to mount with those big old screws. Uh, mount that 4x4 over there, build a small fence here, and then build a gate that I'm going to be mounting right there, and hopefully everything goes smoothly. What took me a bit of time yesterday, and what I probably could have done a better job on, at least I didn't have the right bits to go wide enough, but uh, these are my countersink holes for my big old uh, lag bolts, and I had to make this hole wide enough that the washer could fit down in there, so I had to widen it at some point yesterday. Anyway, but that uh, 4x4 is pretty much all set up. I got three mounting points, one here, there's a lag bolt already in there, and then one more down at the bottom. 
and that should be enough. Um, and then the only other thing I'm going to do on the opposite side over here on the actual wall of the garage is mount a 2x4 just with for the strike plate um, for it to close on and that one uh, still not sure actually how I'm gonna mount that anyway hopefully I'll come back towards the end of the day or later this afternoon and show you guys my progress here goes let's get to work Okay, quick update, because I don't think I've filmed anything in a while. Uh, I got the side pretty much finished, good to go. Uh, it's all nice and solid in there. I got the 4x4 mounted to the wall over on this side. Top bridge piece in, lower piece in, and I got all of these uh, pickets installed, so it doesn't look too bad at all. This uh, last one here along the edge, I had to trim the side off of to get to fit in there. Um, next up, I'm working on getting the, uh, the strike, I think it's called the strike board or the place for the strike plate on the other side ready to go. So um, here is the holes I've been punching in the wall to my garage um, because I don't have like a solid piece to, to mount to in there so I'm actually using these little guys uh, which are called toggle bolts. So this was one of the things I found recommended in one of the, I forget, it was I think it was a forum or something like that that I found. So basically these fold up like that pop through the hole, pop out on the other side, and that grips against the wall, and I just gotta tighten it down from the outside uh, through the points that I've uh, drilled in this board here. And uh, of course, actually, once I get that in there, I, I'm gonna, I have a little bit of space on the side, and I need to goop it up and put some, uh, what, uh, what do you call it, that, that stuff on there, that goopy stuff, keeps critters out. Anyway, off we go. All right, guys. It's uh, it's Tuesday now, and uh, I wanted to give a little bit of closure to this video. So, uh, also, this is this is what I look like. I have my hat on because it's sunny, and my protective safety glasses. Anyway, uh, here's the gate, though. As you can see, I'm finished. I actually got to be about 97.5% of the way finished yesterday, uh, but I had to call it because it got dark. I had mounted the gate, but I mounted it a little bit too low. And since the cement kind of slopes up a little bit here, it wasn't opening. So today I had to take it and basically shift it up like one notch here from, from the little holes there. Oh, and actually I need to fill. I've been filling these in with some wood filler. I need to fill one more in right there. Um, but other than that, once that was up there, I had to uh, sand down a little bit on the side just to get it to open and close properly. Uh, also got the mechanics installed over here for the latch. Um, and the little, the little uh, catch plate there, whatever it's called. Um, but everything's all together, and it even works. So, uh, pop that open. Got a, got a handle built in and everything. It opens just like that. And, and there it is. From the side. Uh, this, this nice catch plate here piece is, is pretty sturdy and all. I can just pull it closed, like so. And we're all good. Oh, apparently I need to clean my lens. I'll do that later. Anyway, uh, that's my gate. It's all done. And now I've just realized since I didn't put the string in yet, I can't go back through. I'm trapped outside. Anyway, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with uh, not more fence building videos. This is probably the only fence and gate building video that you'll ever see from me. But who knows? Maybe I'll do more in the future if this is insanely popular or something like that. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.